It's crucial to know what kinds of apparel are allowed and not allowed on the soccer field before taking to the field. I've seen many folks over the years try to start a game while wearing all sorts of strange outfits. I'm going to run down the different outfits that a soccer player should and should not wear. As long as it is not deemed dangerous by the referee, a soccer player can wear whatever they like on the pitch. All safety gear, including clothes, must adhere to these standards. But the regulations state that nobody can wear any form of accessory during games for obvious reasons of safety. As we go along, you'll see that I've organized the items on this list into logical groups. The first topic up for consideration is the player's jewelry. Hello and welcome to Goalside. In today's video, we will talk about seven banned accessories in football game which players are prohibited to use during game. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notifications. So without wasting any time, let's dive right into the video. Exchange of messages via electronic means. No player, including those who are substituted in or taken out of the game, is allowed to use or wear any kind of electronic communication device except where EPTS is allowed. Only small, mobile, handheld equipment such as a microphone, headphone, earphone, earpiece, mobile phone or smartphone, smartwatch, tablet, laptop may be used by team officials, and only when it directly relates to the welfare or safety of players or for tactical or coaching reasons. Any team official caught using electronic or communication devices outside of their authorized functions will be removed from their position. When electronic performance and tracking systems EPTS, are used in games sanctioned by FIFA, confederations or national football associations, it is the responsibility of the competition organizer to ensure that the WT attached to the player's equipment is safe and complies with the requirements for wearable EPTS as outlined in the FIFA quality program for EPTS. Is it okay for a nose ring wearer to play soccer? While a nose ring or stud may be worn casually off the field by a soccer player, it must be removed prior to playing on the field. Nose piercings are grounds for automatic ejection from the field. Jewelry of any type, including nose rings, is not allowed on the soccer field. Soccer's rule makers thought nose piercings were too risky, so they outlawed them for everyone on the field. According to the rules of soccer, players must take off all their jewelry before stepping foot onto the field. Necklaces, rings, bracelets, earrings, leather bands, rubber bands, and similar accessories fall into this category. Taping up valuables is a no-no. If you take part in a challenge, you run the risk of having your nose piercing ripped out. It's safe to assume that the game would have to be put on hold until the player who had their piercing removed was given medical attention. Therefore, if the player doesn't want to risk having to take a break, they shouldn't acquire the piercing. Nose piercings are not permitted for any reason during a soccer game, no matter how willing you are to take the risk. When you put on your earrings, may I take a look at you? Inquiring minds need the answers. Ear and nose piercings are prohibited during a soccer game for the same reason that other forms of body modification are. A soccer match is not the place for earrings. Each player must remove their earrings and any other jewelry or personal belongings that could endanger themselves or their teammates before entering the playing area. A referee may send a player off the field if they are wearing earrings or any other type of jewelry that poses a risk of injury to the player or other players. Nothing you do, not even taping over all your piercings, is going to make a difference. In this case too, the rules are crystal clear. While playing soccer, a player must remove any and all jewelry. While earrings, rings, and other piercings are not allowed for safety reasons, players are not allowed to use tape to cover them. Unfortunately, it is against the regulations for a player to compete while wearing any kind of covered jewelry, and this includes earrings. To mark this special day, perhaps a necklace is in order. After examining bracelets, earrings, and rings, my next target will be necklaces. People wearing necklaces is not uncommon, and many of these necklaces have significant meanings to the people who wear them. They'd feel awkward taking it off even to play. Several people I've known throughout the years have been like this. As we've seen though, soccer rules don't leave much room for individuals to show off their individuality. It's obvious that a necklace would be a distraction on the soccer field. The official will instruct you to remove your jewelry if you choose to wear it to the game. Do not wear expensive jewelry to a soccer game. You may even lock it up in a secure location on the field. Is it acceptable to wear a ring? In today's modern society, millions of married people all across the globe proudly display wedding bands on their digits. I count myself among the millions who like the game of soccer in one of its many forms. Almost all of the married folks I know are interested in finding out if they can wear their wedding bands while participating in soccer, but they just can't do it. Rings of any kind are forbidden in the sport of soccer. Players must remove all jewelry, including wedding and engagement rings, before taking to the field. All watches fall under this category as well. If a player is found to be wearing one, the referee will instruct them to take it off. 
I wish it weren't so since I'd rather have it on than risk losing it, but I can see why this is the rule, so I always make sure to store it away before heading out to the soccer field, and if I have to wear it, I might as well not lose it. Can artificial nails be used in soccer? A soccer player thinking about getting fake nails may wonder if they will affect their game. Artificial materials are commonly used for false nails. Maybe you've already spent the money on acrylic nails, but are still wondering if you'll be able to use them on the soccer field. If you play soccer, you can wear acrylic nails or false nails. Because their use by participants is not prohibited by the rules of the game, they pose no problem. The option is open to the players. A player may not utilize or wear hazardous equipment in competition, as this is against the rules of the sport. Some officials, however, may view some goods as dangerous and therefore prohibit their use by gamers. Wearing false nails while playing soccer is a grey area. To begin, the use of artificial nails by soccer players is not prohibited by any applicable rules. However, the standards do not include the ban on fake nails and instead demand that all jewellery be taken off. In the end, it will be up to the discretion of the referee to decide whether or not certain pieces of equipment are unsafe. Furthermore, I've seen more than one guy be ejected for a game for using false nails. A player who uses their nails carelessly during play should be warned in the same way that any other player would be. There needs to be uniformity in the way all of the players issue these warnings. It's recommended to wear protective gloves or wait until the season is over to get your artificial nails removed if you're worried about them becoming damaged while playing soccer. So how about corrective lenses? What do you think about these banned items which are prohibited in football? Tell us in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon with the next video. Thank you so much for watching.